Hello YouTube and welcome to another review uh, by Danny and uh, let's get started with this one pretty quickly. Uh, this is the Sideshow Hulk vs. Wolverine maquette. It's actually Hulk and Wolverine maquette uh, by Sideshow Collectibles and it's been out for a little while as well. It's one of their more popular pieces. Uh, they made a ton of these I believe uh, 4,000 of the regular version. And 2000 of the exclusives. I, I could be wrong on that. Um, and it's been out for a while. And it's, well, it was expensive at the time when it released. And it's still pricey now. But considering how high statues have gotten in terms of price, this is actually reasonable now. Because it is a maquette, uh, which is basically, it tells a story. And, and it comes out of a comic book. Uh, this is a, an iconic comic book cover, as well as an animated movie. Um... And uh, I was watching this thing for a while, and I just couldn't pull the trigger because I really like Hulk, and I like the Wolverine, and I thought about getting two separate statues of each character. But this is such an iconic uh, statue, and it's just something that, as a collector, I really wanted in my collection. And uh, finally, I was, uh, I was able to buy them, and I bought them directly from Sideshow, and... Um, when the original one uh, arrived, the first piece I ordered, uh, Hulk wouldn't fit well into uh, the base. The right foot just wouldn't sit properly, no matter what I did. So I contacted Sideshow, and they did the right thing, and they sent me a replacement. And uh, this is the uh, replacement, and uh, I couldn't be happier. It, it is uh, the kind of statue that actually I'm sure looks great on screen, um, but in person it really, really is pretty amazing. Uh, both characters look really well. They gave equal attention to each one. Um, you know, Hulk, in my opinion, they did a better job than Wolverine. Uh, but they both look really, really, really good. Um, this statue has a, a base that's got a lot going on in it. Uh, it I guess it was in a foresty uh, fight. And uh, as you can see, uh, it's got some uh, stone. Uh, and a broken uh, log in here and uh, Hulk has got some dirt and dust all over his uh, feet as you can see here in the, the back that's uh, it looks dirty and he's clearly been in a tussle and been walking around barefoot in the woods and then on here this foot he's stepping on a log and he's broke right through it uh, this part here is uh, comes separate it is removable and it's kind of lightweight, uh, but it looks really, really good. I don't know if you can capture the details on this camera, but it looks like wood. It feels like wood, even though it is, in fact, uh, sculpted. Uh, it looks really good. They did a great job. Uh, the tree looks very realistic and it looks great. Then we look at um, the stones and the stones have different uh, colors on them. You have some red stones, some darker brown ones, a couple of black ones thrown in there. And uh, it looks good. It looks uh, well made and it looks realistic and convincing. Uh, you move up to Hulk's feet. Uh, his nails have a ton of detail. His feet have the natural wrinkles and it's just done so well. And a character like Hulk who's so muscular. Uh, you know, he's a comic book character so he's a little bit exaggerated. But he's got muscles on top of muscles. I mean, this thing is... I mean, he's just roided it out it looks like. But he's... Hulk, right? That's what you expect. Uh, but moving on, his legs, he's got good vein texture, uh, really, really good muscle, the ripples. Uh, you can see just the folds, the bends, the different shades of green that really, you know, make Hulk what he is. And then as you go up, these shorts are, they're like denim, but they're they're mixed, they're fully sculpted on here. They're not mixed media. They may look like that, but they're not. They're fully sculpted. And they did a great job of creating, again, natural jean folds. And there's some uh, rips on it that look very, very good, uh, if you can can if you can see them here. Uh, and all the, the jeans just look great. Uh, down to the button, uh, you can see the little uh, pant button is sticking out there. It's, it's like a gold uh, bronze. And then as you move up to the statue, he's got a ton of just muscle detail and He's ripped. I mean, he's pretty, pretty amazing statue. I mean, just, he's a Hulk. I mean, he looks like what you would expect Hulk to look like. And then moving up uh, to his 
hands and arms. Uh, like for example, this this arm is fist is clenched. All of the veins are popping out on his uh, elbow. Seems you see all of the wrinkles that go on the back of the elbow. And then when I turn him around uh, on his back, I mean, he's just one gigantic muscle on top of another muscle. He may be overly muscular. I mean, I can't believe I'm saying that. It's Hulk, but it's possible he's overdone. But it looks really good because he is a comic book character after all. So his uh, hands are massive. I mean, they're half the size of mine. And again, chock full of details on this bad boy. My turntable's getting stuck. Uh, oh, the nails, uh, the, the wrinkles in his hands. I mean, it looks lifelike. It is pretty amazing what they're able to do nowadays with these statues. And then you get to his portrait. The portrait is unbelievable on this Hulk. Uh, the teeth look great. His hair looks great. I'm going to remove it so you can get a better look at it. Uh, but this is the portrait, and it looks just so good. It's so convincing. His hair is black with shades of green on it. His eyes are also uh, green. You really can't see them on this uh, camera, but it looks terrific. It looks realistic. It looks lifelike. You can see his tongue. It's almost like a very dark, almost purple. Um, but it looks great. The seam on the head, almost every Hulk statue has a seam. I had the Avengers Assemble one by Sideshow for a while, uh, and that had also ugly seams, uh, although the sculpting that was pretty good as well. Uh, but ultimately, I sold them and got this one instead. Um, now moving on to Wolverine. He's you know, fully sculpted. His claws are metal. Uh, you know, he looks good. He's grinning. He's got not the best teeth and I've seen that throughout most Wolverine statues it must be a trait of his or something because they don't give him pearly whites they give him some you know, dirty teeth but if you can uh, if you take a look at him he's got a lot of good detail throughout uh, I like the, the the yellow costume with the blue I like their take on that I know that you know people some people like the brown and I like them both I think the brown looks great so does this his claws are removable uh, you know, they come packaged separately, but they are made of steel, and uh, they seem a little bit on the long side. I've heard that before, too. It isn't first time that, uh, you know, that's been said, but, you know, again, it's a comic book character. Uh, you can, you keep some realism, some of it goes out the window, but overall, he looks really, really good. Uh, his boots, again, have wrinkles. They look like real boots. They look like mixed media, even though they're all fully sculpted, and then his uh, suit has some really good texturing throughout. Uh, it's not just a flat uh, paint. It looks really, really good. Uh, he's got a very athletic pose. He's ready to obviously pounce. He is pouncing on the Hulk. And uh, he goes in with through this key, uh, which is a, a magnetized. And uh, if you wanted to, which I don't know why you would want to, but if you did, uh, you can pose Hulk without him. Uh, even though there is a massive hole right there where the Wolverine keys in. Because you just display them a certain way. You never see it. Uh, but that's not the way I'm going to display them. I really like this portrait, uh, this statue. And uh, his head uh, is pretty good. The exclusive comes with a different classic helmet that looks terrible because the seam is so visible. It just doesn't look good. So even if I had the exclusive, I would not display them that way. Uh, this is the way that I would display them. So I didn't mind getting the um, the regular you can't get the exclusive if you wanted to anyways. Um, but this is my review for uh, the Hulk uh, and Wolverine maquette by Sideshow. If it's a uh, statue that you're looking for, you're on the fence about it, um, I don't think you'll regret it. I really, really like uh, this Hulk, uh, and I like the Wolverine. So um, I give this statue a thumbs up. I think it uh, it's a beautiful statue. Till next time, thank you for watching.